utility being thrown out, but the spike will successfully be planted if it doesn't come at a cost of, again, the Sage being tagged down low. Healing Orb will be there. GMD on the way forward. The Kale also able to scout some things out with the Aldrode. They're not sticking for this plan as the Slow Orb comes through. Gen G able to find First Blood officially as Sean finally gets involved. Backside yellow. Sean's going to find all three kills so far. He gets the fourth. Last player alive is Nature. And will it be Sean for the ace? Nearly. Nature down to 37 HP. Needs to try to toggle these players on the spike. Not going to find the kills. And Gen G's defense. Mikhail up top. Able to get to the high ground. Tagged up while doing so. Has to give it away. HLs are also in the mix. The defensive retake on the way. Quinn trying to find some action in the backside. But again, this barrier orb is just causing so many problems right now for Gen G. The hit's going to have to come through and come through convincingly. Here it comes Win. First one up, able to find the elimination. Now backside yellow. Second contestant nearby. Not able to snap. His chemicals able to find the trade. He does get caught a bit though, but shot up able to find the immediate response. 3v2 we go. Genji running out of time. Have to make a play. Gangsta from the corner will find Huge. two kills. And Immortal is able to touch some footsteps. Has to back away. Going to be tagged up just to touch. Second follow up. Win good for the first blood. 5v4 situation, but a retake will be required as JC Stani will immediately plant the spike. To counter force as well. You did see that Gen G did force up to Stinger, so both teams don't want to give this one away. Early resurrection as well. JC Stani with the uh. kill and the conversion. 4v4, low HP. Don't know if a heal is available just yet. A couple of big frags coming in now, coming from the Gen G side of things. It's still a post plant. Now the heal's into effect. Looking for the next kill here. There's three still alive and healthy, and it will be a big brawl down in the choke. Now looking good. Gangsta's able to fight two. Not enough ammunition though in the Stinger to make much work happen beyond that. And as soon as the last bit of utility fades away, it will... Early spike plant coming to the mix here. Bladestorm up top. Chemicals put down as GMD survives with 19 HP. Tries to watch to see if he can find the exit away from the immediate plant of the spike, but isn't able to find it. Empress will be popped here in this 4v5 situation. Maybe try to clear some space to see if they can get this forward. Not allowing nice Gen G to get the immediate retag, but... And the recon bolt coming through. GMD looking to move forward. It will find Ooh. the Empress shot up immediately deleted. Now the toggle. Here comes the full retake, and it's come on. Finding three. Win and Sean the other two. And Gen G go round for round still with Immortals. What an absolute shutdown there again. We see Gen G coming in for a close is either gonna find success or failure, depending on if they get value out of their duelist. But chemicals and shot up both go empty on their ultimates from the previous round. Mikhail. Hunter's Fury splits right through a number of players. Eventually connects with Chasey Stani, who falls. No up top for the resurrection to be used this round. And now they hit forward. Gangsta able to find another. Gen G in a 2v4 situation. Make it now just down to Sean. He's done incredible things in the past. He has an idea where Shot Up is off of this little bit of regeneration, but cannot find the angle. And that will be another round for Mortorb. Sean, little bounce pass off the containers. That actually looked like it was pretty well placed, but it doesn't find much damage. So the spike goes down. We've got a 5v5 retake scenario. This time it's Chemicals watching the flank, not Nature. He's a part of this hold defensively now for Immortals in the post plan. Sean looking to maybe be the first one forward. Slow Orb will stall. Operator shots going just a bit wide as Quinn tries to find something through the toxic screen. GMD trying to scout things out. Not going to find much. Kusa for first blood. Here comes the retake. Daisy Stan is going to quit for the resurrection, but Sean comes around, finds himself two. Chemicals now a part of this mix. It'll go two for two. Defensive numbers for Gen G, but the clock becoming a bit of a problem. Win finds himself another, and Kusta cleans up the final kill. Just enough time for Gen G to secure their fourth runner to the defuse. I think you're really starting to see the problems with B here now. Immortals go. Mikhail will already get the shock dart down. Viper's pit will also be spent here for nature. Trying to try to keep this post plant a little bit more safe. Knifing through the barrier orb. GMD gonna find one down low. Shot up also falling. It's first blood in favor of Gen G. The full retake will be have to still required for Gen G. This chemicals has now made his part come to life here onto the site itself. Mikhail able to find another elimination. That's the Viper's pit completely down. Hardest Fury now in the mix. That's offensive off this post plant. Gonna find value as Gangsta is able to find one kill and damage onto more. JC Stani moving forward. Really no hope here you would feel like for Wit and no hope indeed will exist. Round. We're not seeing a lot of defaulting from Immortals. They're five stacking B, five stacking A, going back to B. Nature's down. At least it's not shot up dead first, but the Empress is gone. And the Resurrection will immediately come through. And as 
GMD takes the second challenge. Chemicals puts him down. So a five before the other way. It's an offensive Hunter's Fury to clear some space. Spike will be planted. Shot up. No Empress. Looking for the free kill. And goodness, shot oh up. Oh my god. Really shot having up. a rough go of it. That was a free kill. And I think 99 out of 100 games for him. But this one, not the case. So we go 4v4. Is his name that because he gets shot up? What's going on here? The guy's just, he's been, he's been getting annihilated every single run. Great shot coming through from the response as well. Showstopper. Big rocket as well. Sean collects the double. That is going to give Genji a lot more to work with. The game is still alive. Just down to Kusta now for the 1v2. The Aldrin has scouted him out though. The recon bolt surely will. I think he does. Now it. the Leer and shot up will finally get himself a first blood. Able to get the overheal off. And now it's again Immortals moving forward with numbers. Yeah, I completely lie. Uh, Gimon did not dodge that at all, but Shotup doesn't dodge that bullet either. So if we get one kill, he'll respawn. Sean makes it even. 3v2 now, Alan. Spike on the floor. Not a good start for I have Immortals, spike. considering they do need JC Starting to get a free plant. And I don't know if they can do that anymore, because the rest of Je the rest of Genji have shown up on to be still one minute to play through. The best course for Immortals to take now would be to try and maybe fake a little bit over towards B and slowly make their way over to A, or just go completely silent and... Kind of trick Genji into dividing their defense a bit. The first round where we can actually take in the environment right now. Everything has been so quick. Yeah, it looks like Texas. I'm joking. <laughs> no, no, but I seriously. Feel, I do feel for the Texans. Seriously, it looks I, I like Texas. I hope the Texans are holding through. No, I do feel for them. That that was that was half funny and half men in poor taste. So I, I laugh, but I apologize a lot. I hope the Texans are doing good. I hope uh, Immortals can maybe try and do something to recover this round as well. As we get towards 20 seconds, obviously not going to save. Going to have to be making their way either through Harry Potter into Orange or into the link on towards A. Camera checks A, nothing there. Gangster takes Mikhail down. There's no time, though. Well, no time, you would think. He's going to have to essentially find this elimination. There could He's be dead. point of contact. Gangster's trying to get forward to just plant. Win around the corner never was checked and then we will end the to get the ball rolling a lot of immortals here to defend paranoia leer already in the mix genji trying to make their way forward no kills to speak of as of yet and finally the frenzy battle undertaken kusta thought he was going to fall right into two kills but only walks away with one genji still with the numbers in a 3v2 gmd trying to get the spike planted and he will do so successfully as the immortals will back away and make sure they're able to approach this with at least Ooh. numbers, and oh, Gakes actually gets a bit of collateral damage onto Sean there with the one tap of the GMD. That remains. makes things a little bit more interesting as Nature capitalizes on the kill, and Gakesta, he will actually connect a headshot, will look to be through the wall on the win, and that will be oh, the easy follow-up elimination. Brilliant retake. It's frustrating, I think, to be the entry man with Immortals, how fast they play, but sometimes it does provide for some pretty special moments. But as the hit does come into A, the spike will be planted as GMD and Sean are able to find a couple of kills. JC Stanny able to catch some decent timing on Dugumon. Chemicals up top, looking to find a retake from the back. Will not get the better of Mikhail. 2v2. Mikhail down to just 4 HP, has to play off of his utility. Nature finds the easy kill. Also gets a read on where exactly Sean is playing. But maybe not. Okay, the double peak will be there. JC Stanny does take care of it. Wants to make it hard pressed to do this in a 4v5 where you still have an Empress available for shot up if he so chooses to use it. Genji going to continue to pick the pressure and try to scout out at least information towards B. They've got a lot of utility to still do this, but the problem is cover, cover, missing cover. out on your one of your big fraggers in your raise is not great news. It's actually a pretty nice cloud smoke coming through from nature as well. Really blocks out the high angle on green. Yep, yellow's been cleaned up by JC Stani as well. It's going to be tough for Genji now to really find a plant. They don't have a sage to work with, so you're not no. going to find that nice and easy plant either. See the snake bite onto the default. Cloud burst coming, cloud smoke rather, coming back online as well. Genji are kind of stuck here. They lose more, they lose the spike. They're about to lose the round. Yeah, completely trapped. Chemicals will get three, two of which portals. A little bit more of a split defense as nature has pushed forward through B long past the yellow container. They're able to fully stack closer towards A and Chemicals again has walked away with first blood. It's quite difficult going up against a jet over towards A as well, playing the off angles, gangster. Found the lurk over towards mid again. A good read coming through from Immortals. They've shut this down. The round is basically over, Alan. It's 5v1. Look, Genji only has stingers anyway. This is going to be another flawless, is it? Not quite giving the Empress pop. Here and away on the way through. Nice recon bolt. We'll scout out one player nearby. Able to see a foot. And now here comes the double jail. Brilliant kill for GMD. Genji's now forward. Shot up is going to be able to go uh, back into the mix here with the resurrection. But you've got every single element coming out to play here for Genji. Mikhail makes good of the Hunter's Fury. Chemicals drops as he pulled out the Blade Storm. So now it's just down the nature trying to hold on for as long as possible. And he will be successful in making this for a time a 2v2. Now a 1v1. 
and nature is going to allow the spike to be planted and then look for the reset recon bolt out immediately deleted and up top oh! nature what a shot out of mikhail three kills for him and now immortals on map point that is the cut he could have gone towards screens he could have backed out play for the full post plan back over towards a lobby but the fact and gen g are going to try to make a play contact day yeah Harness Fury through the middle of the map. It will not largely connect up to too much, but Shot Up has what? pushed through A. He gets two. Mikhail will eventually put down the threat, but it comes at a steep cost. 4v3 situation for Immortals defense. Make it now a 4v2. Massive ring Shot Up. This round pushing on through. I mean, Immortals are changing up their pacing every single round, even on defense. And Nature close by. Hasn't heard any footsteps yet. You can already see that Chemicals is looking over towards Spawn, where Shut Up died. No one else is still hanging out there. Haven't heard any more footsteps over towards A. Genji are going to do the Genji thing on Icebox and push through mid into screens. It's going to come down to Gangster. Does he know it? Does he feel it? Can he sense that there's action coming through from behind? He's turning around now. Oh, Barrel betrays him. Mikhail gets a kill. This is possible now. A spike will be plotted. A 2v1 retake Viper's put available. Don't know that it'll be used here, but 2v1 is pretty good for Immortals. 1v2 situation. Mikhail up top. Ah, doesn't nice read chemicals. Will likely be down. Post plant setup for Gen G. Will likely rely on the jet playing long. Mikhail's able to find one elimination. Gangsta coming on down, trying to help out. Is good for one, but not a second as Kusta is able to double up from the bottom side. I haven't. JC Stani, 16 HP. Tough position to be in. Caught literally in a corner. And Gen Drone is going to spot out chemicals who needs to get out of this situation and oh my goodness nature's there for the kill Sean's down and that's potentially a free gun Quick rotation for Gen G coming right into JC Stanny's line of sight. He finds absolutely nothing So back to 4v4 a wide open a site as well for Gen G's plant Immortals want to try to contest this at least by the look of it all four members are here defensively up towards the rafters They're not gonna find much initially fault line comes through that it will connect to Mikhail and the flashpoint. Now everyone will peek. On they go. First kill, good for Mikhail. GMD down low, just trying to hold his life. Nature with a sheriff, good for one. The GMD in a great position, able to clean things up. GMD able to avoid that. There will be some reveal on the place of the middle chemicals. Huge. We'll find first blood wind drops and now another early advantage for immortals with the numbers. I right, shot up around the corner. He does get the kill into Koos to the mid. Time mid is open right now. GMD, the long range stinger, is just going to tickle shot up down to a small amount of HP, but still alive as chemicals will clean up one further. And now for Gen G, two members remaining. Again, still holding on to the SMGs from the previous round. I think they do have one rifle there. It is GMD with a vandal. Limited time, limited players, limited HP 30. Fury in the mix trying to clear off the space. Backside arches. Shot up able to find first blood on the window. Numbers advantage again for Immortals, but it's going to come down to what can you find inside the site of your nature? Gets one. Opportunity for a second. Gets traded away. Now a 4v3 situation. Rolling Thunder will be spent. The kill, though, finds two kills. And, and now it's just down to Kagex to find a way in. It's a double of his own. The numbers will tilt to a 1v2 situation. Now a 1v1. Chemicals watching the cross. We'll make sure that GMD cannot be sick with his life. He's going to have a little bit of help as Shot Up has moved over. Hit by the paranoia. GMD free kill. Flash point out. Gen G still alive through this. Here comes the hit. Onto the site they go. Gangsta falls. Now it's just down to the two members of Immortals up top as they're still waiting for Nature to rotate over. And he will get over into Garden. But as the spike is planted, Immortals still have a lot of obstacles to deal with, including now a lockdown that'll be able to help them clear some space. Sean, by the way, didn't end up picking a rifle. No, he does. He gets a rifle eventually. I thought he might have picked up the Phantom drop by JC Stani, but there's a Phantom in hand regardless as the Empress does get played in. You're right, they do have to deal with the lockdown. Huen goes down over towards the Nano Swarm as well. Sean being caught by the lockdown. Four He's players. trying to get out. Yes, everybody. But it's not going to make too much of a difference. Gen G, dangerous defusing. He stuck it. Nowhere. Quick rotation for Immortals. Hunter's Fury out for Gen G. JC Stani staying alive for now. Holding close. Chemicals again finds first blood. I feel like almost every single one of his kills has been a first blood. Now over the top. Shot up's going to take care of Sean. Stuck in a nano swarm. He was trying to hold for a second kill. Not going to be there. Not going to make a difference though. Unless Mikhail. This would have to be a 1v5 situation. He eventually gets taken down. 
And that will be Immortals so bouncing back 4 5 overall. And just to, again, to keep in the back of your mind, Genji's offense mm. has been their better overall side. And to a tune of 52%, the bad news, they only win 38% of their DE with a 3 2 split, still focusing the spike over towards A, where Immortals are actually not holding from inside the site. Chemicals trying to find a pixel through the dark cover. He does find an angle, not a lot of damage, but JC standing makes good. Tries to stay alive. Ooh. The right click for win is good, but the trade is better. As a 4v3 situation, as Gen G do force commit to get onto the A site. Lockdown available for our teams as well. Kusta hasn't used one just yet. Going to be saving that one potentially for a post plan as that plant will now be confirmed. The rest of the mortals, a lot of ultimates play. I mean, they can use Hunter's Fury here. They already get shown down four versus two, and Genji are in trouble instantly. This is going to be the lockdown play coming through from the mortal side of things. It's nature confirming, and the rest of the players now streaming in. It's going to come down to potentially a bit of aggression from Gimon and Kusa, but that aggression we muted straight away. Immortals find themselves another round, keeping it close. Got to respect the attempt though for Gen G. See if you can catch this Immortals team off guard. You know they're not going to immediately commit for a retake at the beginning portions of this lockdown. Likely going to do it Raider. And he will not be awarded an angle initially, but the second peak win will drop. Another shot from Chemicals will miss. Now he's stuck in the backside of Wine Cellar, but good help from the Paranoia to come out. But it will be traded back into forest, so vision denied for both sides. Nano Swarm oh. dealt with. JC Stani trying to stay alive. Chemicals not quite hitting <laughs> some of these op shots, and that will lead to a Gen G 4v2 situation as Sean found three. Yeah, this is definitely quite aggressive coming through from the mortals. You know, you look at Chemicals, he could have chosen to dash away back to safety, back onto site, but goes into wine instead, has a few more smokes available to try and get himself out, but will just try and swing for the kills and miss. Good opportunity now for Genji, especially with the Empress Pop. Four versus two. Both of the Immortal Defenders have arrived. And was shot up down as well. Limited utility. This one will go six and six now for sure. As Nature will try and come very, very quickly. The kill able to sidestep away from the Flashpoint, but still first blood again from Chemicals. He has been a first blood master so far in this series. The plant to come through now for JC Stani as well. Genji will be giving that one away reasonably quickly. Look for the long flank as well. That's going to be coming through from Kusa. Has to deal with the turret that's been placed here if genji can make a bit of a wrap around here this can work for them but kusta has been spotted now will be a very important 1v1 eventually over towards wine as the rest of genji make their way from hibbert and tree potential killjoy and killjoy action jc stani caught trying to throw out some utility wind finds the first kill gmd the second and it's going to be an exchange that does favor immortals at the end of it there's two members nearby in mid-market kusta just trying to stay alive Jet dash in, Kusta sidesteps away from the fight, then comes back to take it, finds the first kill. Gets the reload off, but not fast enough. Two for two, we go overall, and Immortals have gained control of the B site. So looking for the plant coming through. Genji have positioning here, three alive on both ends. Like you said, both omens are there. No paranoia for GMD, that's gone. Smoke has just come up available. There is going to be one still lurking over towards B main. That's going to be coming through from nature. Very important play to clear eventually. Now just want to come on through and... Big reveal onto GMD as well, just to slow things down. Need this retake to be convincing if you're a Gen G fan. Win does find the first kill. That's a good first step. The kill finds the second. Just not a gangsta. He's able to get the one. Knows that he's got information on the second, who is low, just outside the boat house. So again, Gen G need to go. Interesting 1v2. Here comes the challenge. Gangsta lined up. both up and gets three in the round. Just down to four HP. Shot up trying to clear the middle of the map. And for now, at least the mortals have been kind of stuck inside of B main, but it's only for a small time as Gangsta opens the door from getting Kusta. But oh win! He doesn't just grab three! He's and just the two separating the two teams. Early drone to come out. Sean might be caught. Kale good for the first hunter. Screw going to come out. The Kale lucky to miss being tagged by that first shot. Gangsta's not going to convert any kills off of this. It's a 5v4 for the defense. JC Stanny. Is he going to commit? He does. Onto the site, he goes from the shadows. Not going to immediately try to plant. Puts it into the corner. Now Gen G forced to have a retake. They're likely going to be waiting for Kusta. He does have a lockdown available. Will that be the tool to get them in, though, is the real question. And because the Hunter's Fury is used as well, they can't really counter it. The oh, no. Can't really counter. I was going to say lockdown, but it doesn't really matter. This is just aggression coming through from both ends. Quinn with two kills so far. Just down to the one. Chemicals falls and Gen G. They got this one. Defuse on the Kusta. And there it is. Recovering. Eight and nine now. Just keeping it tight in time in terms of the... But there is no real offensive pressure to suggest that that's its final destination. As the smoke comes down as well, Quinn's going to try and challenge for this weapon in terms of just putting in the pot shots there. 
Nature finds Cooster on the other side of the map no as well. Way. Nature for two. B is open. They get a free rifle over towards A. They get some free guns on B as well. They just need to pick up the spike, get a plant in, and suddenly Immortals are in. Immortals have got this one. Sean will try and find a couple players on rotation here. This is going to be pretty huge. He has destroyed the turret, so his position is known. The spike has been delayed, and they must deal with Sean to cross. And they will! Chemicals headshot at long range. Just down to win. 26 HP, fault line pushing him around, win with two, but it's nature to follow up after one of the free guns that he collected. And through that information has been given to Huin that potentially Immortals may be also looking for mid. This could be contact being made here for sure. I mean, look at this, Huin just waiting on the other side of the smoke. There it is, Mikhail finds one. Sean is still there though. This is going to have to be an execution at some point for Immortals. It's going to likely be occurring over towards B. Not a lot of time on the clock. Kusta. Going to get one of the Nano Swarms out. Big information value off of that Recon Bolt. As far as where these defenders are positioned. But it's win from mid-market. Does not finish a kill. Now has to go back to the Stinger. He gets dealt with. 4v4 we go. Into the site though. Kusta. Watching one angle. Good for a first kill. But shot up. It was weird to see him on the breach, but he's doing pretty darn well with it. It's a 3v2. Spike looking to get planted. Sean wants to immediately contest it. Nature puts him down. Now Mikhail gets the weapon up, tries the spam, but shot up. NG. Last opportunity to really try and get this one underway because Huynh kind of saved the last one. They also uh. have guns available with Sean down and with Huynh to follow. I think this is going 12. Sure feeling that way. JC Stani able to take down Mikhail. The only thing to really brute for here for Gen G is the fact that GMD has found one elimination, and that will result in a weapon pickup. But he's got Gangsta nearby, and Gangsta has heard every bit of this. The wide swing, Gangsta deals with it. Now it just comes down to one. Kusta, 1v4 situation. Will likely try to go for it. A couple of them are one away from ultimate, so it's not the worst situation in terms of Gen G for resource. Mountain here. But if an Empress can be utilized and Sean finds value, maybe there's an opportunity to extend this. Early Rolling Thunder comes right through mid. Everyone backs away from that, but that will be the take as JC Stani makes his way onto the site. Not looking to immediately plant. Shot up continuing to throw out fault lines, but it's Mikhail who finds first blood. Now the lockdown also in play. All the elements have been spent for Immortals. Spike planted. Just the Hunter's Fury that's left, and they're going to set up a post plant for this. Gen G on the retake will have the ability of getting a Hunter's Fury of their own, though. Immortals have used everything here, though. The only issue I'm having with this is, yes, they do have a Hunter's Fury available for Gang, but Showstopper Lockdown gone, and that's just for the plant. Now that they're in the post plant, how do they actually hold on to this one? Because this is where Gen.G is going to start committing. They have a lot of utility of their own. Empress has been popped from the shadows now to check over towards main. They confirm, is the Hunter's Fury going to follow? Sean's got to go. He's got to be the first one through, and as he gets into the dark cover, it's shot up not for one, but for two. Kusta able to find one elimination, and he's actually going to find a second from behind. It's a 2v2 situation, with the Hunter's Fury is still in play. Kusta pushes through this, finds himself his third kill. Mikhail responds, and Gen G, there will not be enough time.